Okay, everybody, we are now on time for another first alert forecast update. A good Friday to you into our morning. It is time to get at it with your first alert forecast. I am WIS first alert meteorologist Tony Schifferoli, and we're going to be settling into what is a nice, still calm first half of the day, but what we've been talking about all day on sunrise on the TV side of things, now getting in a digital sense, we are going to be seeing uh, some shakeups to that forecast. I want to make sure as you're starting to go through the motions today, making plans for later this afternoon, evening, getting to St. Patty's Day weekend, you know, when it will be rain chances and when do they when can they actually be the most aggressive? When are we going to be seeing the things to be more weather aware for? I'm going to first alert you to that and get you through the rest of this Friday. And then I got great news coming into your weekend. It has been all about a drying trend. Things getting towards the weekend where overall, yes, obviously we've been dry, but in terms of rain chances for the weekend, they've been on the downswing, the decline, they've been falling off. Let's get to that right now as we start out today because, of course, I want to bring you outward and onward into what will be still a nice Friday morning. We give you this live check in and out of Columbia near mile marker 3, I-126. Just getting off that Broad River Bridge, we are going to be seeing a lot of the beauty of the morning. Some have seen a little bit better sunrise color. Obviously, now that sun is up, we're continuing to see it breaking through. Any clouds that they're trying to mix in for the day. And overall, a lot of temperatures that have remained in that realm of, just for the most part, mid-50s. We've still seen some lingering moisture and dew points higher down at the surface. So that's why over towards you know, a couple spots, a little bit of patchy fog still in areas like Lexington, but even that should be clearing up soon. The thing is up above, there's a lot of thin clouds. You know, there's not going to be a very thick cloud there for the morning. So that really confuses a lot of our weather sensors and just, you know, this technology that is not you know, 100% always the best. That's why, you know, it's good to have, you know, a human like myself to talk about this sometimes because you think, all right, it's just going to be 100% sunny out there looking at that icon. But no, we're seeing a thin veil of clouds. We're seeing moisture lifting up into the atmosphere. You're going to see that sun shrouded up a bit. They'll still be it. It's going to be breaking through, but it's not going to be there in a widespread capacity. And we eventually see more clouds continue to mix in as the day goes on. But pretty nice with these temperatures. Columbia in the mid 50s with Lexington. Sumter closer to 60 now, rounding things out a lot of areas in the mid 50s like Winsboro, Newberry, Camden right now is in the mid 50s. Orangeburg, oddly enough, lower 50s down that way, a little cooler than the rest of the viewing area. So as we get you out the door, we're continuing to see all these conditions going along with increasing clouds and actually the chance to see a bit of some thunder into the afternoon. This is something I want to make sure again, you're more so aware of as we break free of yes, our early bit of sun, we build up the rain chances to some isolated storm potential in those rain chances. And that's, of course, going to be uh, the big shakeup to this week because it's been lovely up to this point. It has been nice for our afternoons. We've seen warmth build. Dry conditions have pretty much held up. Anything, of course, with the shakeup yesterday was just with the air quality, and that also has improved. Just want to make that note. If you're listening right now, air quality is getting better. We're going to be seeing that air quality alert from the National Weather Service ended after ending after 9 a.m. this morning. So uh, that continues to go away as our air quality has improved. Now, as we get back to your forecast, we're getting these warmer temps to build into this afternoon, looking to see some afternoon storm threats. This all leading to that drier St. Patty's Day weekend, highlighted in green in celebration because we're almost there. We're going to be rounding out the middle of this month. And right now, in terms of your future cast, let me first alert you right here. Let's see what you have for your Friday afternoon. Newberry and Saluda need to be on a little bit more of a higher alert early today because as we approach lunchtime hours, this is when we start to see rain trickling in. This is all out ahead of a cold front. Okay, the cold front doesn't completely move through until the overnight period. It's out ahead of the front that you need to be mindful of because this is where more of the actual activity is. So we continue to see that push through middle of the day. could see a couple storms press through the Midlands towards really even 4 or 5 p.m. So really getting towards that mainframe from 1 a.m. all the way to 5, 6 looks to be the best timing for a lot of our viewers. But even down towards our southern viewing area, and of course, I'm looking at you, Orangeburg, down that way and a lot of areas towards the low country, they can hold on to a bit more of this rain potential, you know, the further into the day we go. This is what I'm talking about. See how that setup is? It's really a fine line, almost getting to Orangeburg County, Aiken County, even Southern Clarendon and below. But you go up towards uh, areas closer to the North and South Carolina border, not so much. It's going to be more of an event that pushes off towards the South late into this Friday. And then after that, 
See you later. The cold front sweeps down along. We can still see lingering clouds, a couple bits of patchy drizzle to start out the weekend, but that's not going to be anything indicative of what the day brings. And that's going to be some afternoon sunshine. The clouds decrease. We say hello, blue skies. It is going to be a very nice change of pace the later we get into that Saturday. And that's just a great bit of news because any smaller St. Patrick's Day themed events going on around the region, you of course have the big festival, you know, St. Pat's down in five points here in Columbia. It is going to be a very nice day, and I'm so happy that we have seen uh, some drier air fighting back in and just really enough of a capacity to give us what will be a nice Saturday. Great to see for folks. Now into Sunday, we are going to get some clouds to build back in for actual St. Patrick's Day, but here's another good bit of news. We could have easily seen a few showers roll their way in by Friday or by Sunday afternoon, but I'm thinking we're going to be seeing any rain holding off towards the south. We will eventually see some rain for Sunday night, that will actually dry out into Monday, but for any outdoor activity here, still looking okay. And I know uh, that big St. Patrick's Day parade is going on in Lexington downtown at 3 o'clock on Sunday. So we're looking pretty good for that. Still can't rule out a little bit of patchy drizzle there, but it's still not going to be anything that would put a ridiculous damper on a parade, especially as we're going to see some low 70s for that afternoon. Overnight, though. Rain looks to move in. That looks to be the timing right now, and I'm hoping that holds up because most of that rain will be by the time a lot of us are sleeping, and then it will eventually dry out. Just like the weekend is looking to stay mainly dry. Everything, of course, those rain chances, it's very late on Sunday with that 20% as we approach sunset, and then Saturday, any of those chances are just very early in the morning. Basically, anything in between, we're looking really good. Love to see that Saturday sunshine breaking out, and then right into a St. Patty's Day Sunday, still trying to hang on to dryness as much as we can. Going on and towards next week, after that area of Sunday night rain passes through, we are going to be seeing some Monday sunshine and then a cool blast of air. Dew points drop back, temperatures drop back, and it's really funny because that is the first day of spring. And oddly enough, the coolest day out of this entire stretch is going to be the first day of spring. But either way, you know, you slice it until we get there. We're going to be feeling much more spring-like today. Just got to, again, watch out for some showers you might potentially need to dodge getting into this afternoon. Listen out for those rumbles of thunder, because remember, when thunder roars, make sure you are indoors into the upcoming weekend. Have a fun and safe St. Patty's Day weekend, everyone. Luckily, we are really going to be seeing things on our side with rain chances that have continued to fall back throughout this week. Thanks again for listening to me uh, go on about the forecast, and I'd uh, love to again keep you first alerted as we make a move forward. As we continue on right now, of course, we can uh, take a check right now and what we're going to see new this morning. That is going to be starting soon, giving you new uh, news updates as we get forward into what is the rest of this morning and your upcoming weekend beyond. Thanks again for listening. I'm WIS First Alert Meteorologist Tony Shivaroli. Always stay tuned on air and online.